context of white supremacy. Gusty Renegade doing a tutorial video. Just got my MacBook Pro back fully repaired, I hope. And my first task to finally make a tutorial video on how you can change your IP address so that you can access uh, content that is limited based on a specific region of the planet dominated by racism, white supremacy. Uh, as always, you can hit me on Twitter until justice on Twitter at until justice on Twitter at until justice uh, invest. If you think the videos cows radio program or any other efforts on the part of Gus T renegade are constructive working towards replacing white supremacy with justice to the video. I have told folks before that you can change your proxy, your internet address, and that will allow you to access content that is restricted. For example, uh, this is a video uh, I'm going to it right now. This is uh, Stephen Lawrence's mother, Doreen Lawrence. Uh, there's a great documentary on BBC uh, that came out in 2012 on the murder of Stephen Lawrence by a gang of white supremacist thugs. Uh, this was about 20 years ago in the UK. She's been on the program twice, context of white supremacy. She's been on the program twice, most recently this year. Anyway, when you, if you are trying to access this video, which is phenomenal, if you attempt to access this video content and you do not reside in the UK, this is what you will get. You see this? Uh, currently, BBC iPlayer TV programs are available to play in the UK only, blah, blah, blah. As a non-white person, you will have to solve problems. On a regular basis, white people will make it difficult for you to get constructive info. What you can do, go to this website, hidemyass.com, hidemyass.com. So you go to hidemyass.com. Once you click on that website, what you can click on is IP port proxies. It's Internet provider port proxies. Right. So you click on that. It'll be a little globe. Click on it. You should come up with this screen. Scroll down a little bit and you will see all the different areas of the world where you can get a proxy to these different areas. Now, for the content for this, we will obviously need a UK proxy. So we scroll down our list here and we just look for United Kingdom. There we go. So we highlight that and then we click the little yellow tab right here that says update results. Now, when we scroll down, the only IP addresses that we should see should be UK IP addresses. If you want to scroll back again, if you look here, you see Colombia, Indonesia, China. We got a whole where in the world we would like an IP address. And once we click here, it has been reduced. Now we just have the UK options. OK, what you can do is go on this list. All you need is the digits that are in this column right here for the IP address. And you will also need the digits that are in this column for the port. Normally, what I do, since this is the longer number, is I will just highlight uh, one of the IP addresses, copy it. Boop. And then I'll just remember the code. My memory is not so bad that I can't remember four digits or two digits or whatever the case may be. Just make sure that you get uh, you stay in the same row so that you pick an IP address. If it's in this row, then you also want to get the port address from this row just so you don't have any confusion. Uh, also, I try to get the faster times here, but generally I found it doesn't matter. Most of these, uh, if you find one that works, you're doing well. They don't always work. Sometimes you might have to pick two or three, but normally you shouldn't have to go through the whole list. You got 13 to pick from. Normally the first two or three that I pick work like a charm. All right. So then what you do, I'm using Mozilla. You go to preferences. Once you click on preferences, 
you go to the advanced tab. So preferences, it might open up on general or whatever the case. Just go to advanced. Then you see where it says connection. Configure how Firefox connects to the internet. Click settings. When you get to settings, you will see configure proxies to access the internet. You want to click on manual proxy configuration manual proxy configuration. Click that one and then you should just copy and paste. See where it says HTTP proxy. You want to take the IP address from here. As you can see, I have selected this one right here. This one looks pretty good. I copy that information and the port number is 3128. So you just go back over here, paste that here, 3128, click OK. Now, should be working. I didn't even close, if you notice, I didn't even close the window. You don't even have to do that. Once you click OK, you should be good to go. You should now, your IP address should be reconfigured so that other computers, when they pick up or when they access your IP address, it should read UK, not the United States. So if we refresh this page, let's see what happens. Drum roll. Let's see, let's see. It's loading, loading, loading. Nothing happens. All right, we're refreshing, refreshing. Not seeing anything. Okay, I might even leave this in the video because this does happen sometimes. It might just mean that the IP address that I was using uh, isn't working, which does happen. This is a free service and that happens sometimes. So all you do is go back to your list and say, okay, I will make another selection. Let's try this one because I don't have to change the port. Still 3128 if you see, right? So I'm just gonna put in a new address and see if that solves the problem. Let's see. 28, you go down, click OK, go back, and we will reload this page here. See if it works. Bang, page is loading. All right, we should be reconfigured from a UK address. Uh-oh, let's see if it works. Parental lock, yes, I am aged 16 or older. Play content without turning on. Let's play it without. And you might be playing, but we wanna make sure the video actually loads before we get too excited. Make sure the video, lo oh, oh, it looks like it worked. Looks like it worked, there we go. In the rural highlands of Jamaica, in a remote clearing, lies the body of a black teenager, brutally murdered by a gang of white racists 18 years ago. His name represents one of the most shameful episodes of British race relations history. It has come to symbolize an iconic struggle against injustice and sends a shudder through the corridors of power. His name is Stephen Lawrence. All right, you can feel free uh, to check this out. I will make sure to include the address for this video. I just think it's a real shame uh, to be denied constructive information. This is a great documentary, and I think that black people, non-white people, victims of racism around the world should have access to know uh, any, really, any constructive information, and especially about the victim of white supremacy, Mr. Stephen Lawrence. Uh, as I said, almost 20 years ago, uh, and just this year, 2012, two of the white people who were suspected uh, of participating in his gruesome murder were convicted and sentenced to 14 and 15 years, respectively. Again, you can hear Mrs. Doreen Lawrence as a guest on The Cows talking about this case. She was on both before the trial and after the conviction, 2011 and 2012. You can check out what she had to say. I will include links to the BBC documentary and her two visits to the cows in the description to the video. I hope this has been helpful. Replace white supremacy with justice as soon as possible. Invest if you think the cows is constructive.